Hey there, Tony Policastro here with the Acoustic Letter brought to you by Music Villa. Today we're going to have a look at an Eastman E2000. But before we do so, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about why certain guitars are matched with certain playing styles. So that being the case, I've created an Acoustic Guitar Buyer's Guide, which I'll tell you how to get at the end of the review. Onto this Eastman E2000. This guitar is just a cool, tiny guitar at a really, really good price point. It's all solid wood, nitrocellulose lacquer finish, and it looks darn right cool. It just looks like a traditional guitar. What we have on the E2000 is a solid Adirondack spruce top, a pyramid style ebony bridge with ebony bridge pins and a bone saddle, herringbone purfling around the entire top, cream binding around the whole body, the back and sides are made of East Indian rosewood with a zigzag backstrip. We have a mahogany neck with a rather large, I'll call it a full C profile. We have an ebony fingerboard with split diamond inlay. We have an inch and 13 sixteenths bone nut, which offers plenty room for complicated chord voicings. It's a great match for finger style. Slotted style headstock with Eastman right at the top. Open gear slotted headstock tuners. And a cool, really cool traditional style, finger style, I'll call it a fingerstyle specific guitar. A lot of times people ask me, hey, what's a great fingerstyle guitar in a, in a good price range, but it's all solid woods. This is a perfect match. It's tiny, it's got great focus, it's got really good projection, and it's just super comfortable to play. So with all that being said, I'm gonna play the Eastman E2000 so you can hear what it sounds like. All you have to do to get the Acoustic Guitar Buyer's Guide is sign up for the Acoustic Letter. You can click the link below or visit AcousticLetter.com forward slash join. Once you're signed up, you'll never miss a review and it's the quickest way to get pricing and photos on all of these instruments. Now if you happen to be interested in purchasing this guitar, head on over to AcousticLetter.com where you can see it along with hundreds of other guitar reviews that I've done. Thanks a lot for checking it out.